Hello, my name is Angela Campbell and I'm the director of the Rock Island Library and I'm going to give you a simple small tour so you know where everything is at when you come and visit us. Okay, so walking in the front door, this is uh, the 19th Street entrance so you would walk up steps and you would come in and this is actually the considered our first level there are four levels in this library there's the ground level there's the first level and there's a mezzanine and a, a second floor what you really need to know is the first floor holds all of our service points for your reference and circulation needs it has all of our fiction all of our AV all of our computers the mezzanine has all of our nonfiction that pretty much is what people come here for, but we're going to take you on a, a little tour to give you more specifics, so you can follow me this way. If you do want to go downstairs to the ground level, you can either take the elevator or the stairway. It's to the children's library. That is what is down there. Um, when it's not COVID, we also have a sale area and a, a place to kind of congregate a little bit and to sit in the hallway and look at our sale items, but right now that's not an option. <laughs> And then over here, large view, you'll see that's all of our computer stations. We do have some seating for people. Uh, right now, it is by appointment only. Uh, when COVID is done, it'll go back to first come, first serve. So we have our, our puzzles and games and our uh, play away puzzles as well. And then our DVDs, they start and go all the way around here. Probably our most popular collection, uh, besides the hot spots that we do check out. And we also have a library of things that isn't a visual that you can look at right now, but it is something that we'll have out. So things like uh, fishing poles and tools and other things that you might not think about uh, at the checking out at the library, but we do have those as well. So let's walk this way and we'll take a look straight on. The way our desk is configured at this time is the part on the left here is where you would check books in and out and also get a library card. And then on the right, that's for any sort of question you may have. Our reference department is fabulous and they will help you find the information you need or at least be able to refer you to where you need to contact for the information that you need. And then over here on the back side of the reference desk, when we have special promotions and things going on, like right now we have the Seeds Library, you can uh, come here and look and see what's happening. We're going to keep walking through the DVDs. And yes, you can, you can come back this way. So say you place a hold on something, that means you requested a certain item. When it comes in, you'll be notified in your preferred way by telephone, text, email. And then you'll come in and just take it off the shelf. It'll have your last letters or the letters of your last name and the first le letters of your first name. So it is confidential. You just take it off. You can take it to the desk or you can take it to the self check, which are over here. And on the way, we actually pass our copy center. So you can make copies. You can wireless print to our copier. Everything can be paid for by uh, your preferred method. And then this is one of two of the self-checks that we have on the first floor. So the other one is straight across the area. Um, whatever one's open, they're pretty much the same. Just hop on one, check out, and you can be on your way. This way, we have our card catalog. It's not our cards anymore, but I still call it that. I'm old. Oh, <laughs> it's our online catalog. You'll look up things uh, to see if they're in our collection. If they're not, the great thing is, is you can request it if they're in the catalog. So it could come all the way from Chicagoland. Just because you want it, it can get sent here, no cost to you. And if it isn't in our catalog, we can do what's called an interlibrary loan and get it from another library across the United States. That's all free with your library card. Over here we have our audiobooks. Still popular, although CD players aren't as popular in cars anymore. That's why a lot of people listen to them, but we do keep them and still add to them. So come on down and look and see and find your favorite author, and most likely there's an audiobook for, for them. Also, um, we have online databases that uh, do this as well. So you can actually download audiobooks to your devices or um, yeah, just your devices, really, and, and listen to them at your leisure. 
And then a special kind of audio book that we get are called playaways. I mentioned them over on the other side. Um, these are actually true audio books, but they're pretty fascinating. I'm going to show you. It's like a little MP3 player, basically. You plug it into your car or some headphones, and it just has one title on it. And check it out, and that's what you're listening to. It's really simple. And there's a whole collection of these. On the other side, we're sticking with audio with our CDs. CDs are still popular. We also have downloadable options, but for those who like the actual CD, we still check them out. And another unique item are kick pans. We're one of the only libraries in the area definitely that do these, but why buy a kick pan when you can borrow one and use it for whatever your special holiday is? So like this one is a Christmas tree. You wouldn't need that all year long, but you could check it out when you do. Perfect. And my favorite area is our new books and materials section. So we have new fiction, new mysteries and genres. On the back side we have nonfiction and DVDs. It's just a great place to come if you want to just browse. Just walk over here and pick out your favorites and either take it to the desk or the self-check. All right, well, we love our old building, but it does pose a few issues on uh, organizing materials, one being where to put the nonfiction DVDs. So they are over here next to the new things, but they're not necessarily new. They're just nonfiction. We do have a lot of people come in and ask for the um, PBS titles, and they would think that they were in the entertainment DVDs, which we showed you earlier, but they're not. They're actually over here, so you can get your Downton Abbey and Doctor Who, all those wonderful titles that you enjoy on PBS. They're all here. They're one of our most popular collections. Again, we actually have young adult books on CD, so if you are interested in reading young adult fiction or you have a teen in your life that really likes it, this might be a way to get them hooked on reading. And then we're going to come around the corner and we're going to meet up with Kara, one of our awesome reference librarians, and she's going to take you on a tour of our materials. So Kara, I turn it over to you.